<laughs> now, Bunny, there's a lot to talk about, a lot. We've got a real full episode of the Pope on film here, but, but, yes, we have some great, big, breaking news to talk about. There Do was an we? incident that came to light recently. In fact, it came to light last week during recording of episode 175 god's not dead to electric boogaloo it happened the story broke between act two and act three of the podcast during the recording of d and d minus d yes and and man oh man is this huge news so we're, we're going to talk about this we're going to break it down we're going to talk about the events that transpired we're going to talk about a shooting that happened we're going to be talking about uh, the media's response to it we're also going to be talking about me and how amazing I am. So so here's here's the details as they first happened and how they were reported. That's that's another important part. Okay. So on, so on Thursday, May 24th, a man with a handgun walked into Louis Bar and Grill. Uh-huh. There's actually a number of Louis Louis Bar and Grill in Oklahoma, but specifically this is the one by Lake Hefner. Okay. So a man, so a man with a handgun walked into Louis Bar and Grill by Lake Hefner in Oklahoma City on Thursday, May 24th. The man stood near the front door. He wasn't inside the restaurant, but he also wasn't outside the restaurant. He was kind of blocking the door so that nobody could get out. And he started shooting. He he struck three people, and thankfully he didn't kill anyone, but he wounded a shit ton of people. Yeah. Apparently he wasn't a great shot, so he I, he to to keep it all in 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 the theme of the episode. I'm assuming this guy might have been a stormtrooper. Yes, because <laughs> he didn't hit shit. A stormtrooper or a member of Cobra. <laughs> Either way, this guy wasn't hitting a lot of things. So, see, I I I I would. I hate to sound a bit NRA here. Yeah. But but there is a reason why there's a, not a lot of mass shootings in Oklahoma. And that's because basically everyone has a weapon. <laughs> okay. Everyone has a weapon. Everyone is armed. Everyone is packing. If you're not packing, you got knives. I've seen a lot of knives. Yeah. So, so two bystanders bystanders not bystanders <laughs> that would be like a standard of bisexual yeah you're not bisexual enough you don't fit the bystanders that, that was actually kind of good so so two bystanders who didn't even know each other complete strangers managed to get out of the restaurant get to the trunks of their cars and fetch their own weapons yes and these two dudes unloaded on the shooter shooting him dead yes so so it's funny though when it, when i really think about it because i've had i've had a whole week to think about the details of this of this of of, of this this whole shebang how much you want to bet that those two guys came in their levi's <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're like, like, I got this, I got this, I got yeah. this. I, 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 yeah, they're, in, at the in that... range, they're at the gun range practicing their firing going, man, I hope to one day kill a man. Yeah. Stupid laws. Man, I would love to just start shooting a Mexican, or maybe a black, but the <laughs> damn government won't let me. <laughs> one day, one day, I hope to kill someone, and so finally, so so then they well, spend I the picture, rest. Of, I picture the guy. Like I picture the guy from the the original Highlander movie, who had all the guns in his car, and he yeah. found the Kurgan killing somebody. And he's like, "This is it, soldier. We can do this." Yeah. I also <laughs> picture in my mind that when they go into their trunk. It's weird. It's weird to think this, but yeah. I, I imagine that they're running to their trunk to get their weapon. But once they open the trunk, it's a point of view shot from inside the trunk. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's very Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. Very Reservoir Dogs. Very, uh, yeah. like, supernatural. Like, it, it, it cuts to inside the trunk in real life. Oh, yeah. You usually have to... 
you usually have to push the dead hooker out of the way to get to your gun, though. Yeah. That's the problem with storing so, it in your trunk. So this guy, he's an NRA member, and he, he, he has a gun. He carries it with him everywhere, and he's just really upset that he's not been able to kill a man yet. But he dreams of one day doing it, you know, like I imagine a lot of NRA members do and so and so they're at a restaurant and it's like oh yes we're at a restaurant here enjoying the family and the dad is always like keeping an eye out like hoping and praying dear god please let an active shooter situation happen so i can kill a human yeah amen yeah and so they're there at the restaurant you know they're they're like they're like at a shoney's and i gotta i gotta stay vigilant just in case something happens just in case a pope. Yeah. Just in case a Terry just in case a Terry decides to act froggy. I'm gonna save everybody. Finally get to kill a man. Ah, oh, here comes here comes a Middle Eastern man. Ah, oh, but he's a nice one. Damn it. You're looking for brown people. Yeah, they're in they're at, they're at, Yeah, they go into McDonald's and then suddenly up oh, there's three. There's three uh there's three black people in the corner. Better keep an eye on them. Damn it, they were friendly. Why can't someone be a shooter? And they're crying in their bed shooters, at night. Honey, the shooters aren't brown. All the shooters are white. Yeah. 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 yeah some crazy white guy. Yeah. So then, so then the guy's like crying in bed at night. Honey, what's wrong? I didn't get to kill anyone again today. So then finally they're at a restaurant and, and a shooter comes in and starts shooting. And you got to know that just the, the, there was like a twinkle in their eye, you know? And they're like, yes, finally. And, and then the guy like s- skips to his car. I imagine he skipped <laughs> to his car. Uh-huh. Like whistling zippity doo-dah as he skipped to his car. And then he notices that, that right next to him is another guy skipping. Yeah. And it's like, hey. Do you have a weapon too? Yeah, I'm so psyched I finally get to kill someone. Me too. Let's kill them together. And so they get their guns <laughs> and then they like hold hands yeah. back to the restaurant. And a big rainbow appears leading yeah. to the restaurant and it seems to go inside. Yeah. So so I quickly I quickly tuned out this news story. Yes. Because all, all of the gun loving NRA rifle fetishists were just yelling from for the root from the rooftops about this news story. Yeah. All of the NRA people was like, look, you liberal snowflakes. Yeah, how many fucking you, decades did it take? Look, you damn dirty libs. Good guys with guns stopped the shooting. We finally stopped one. Yeah. We stopped one shooting hooray sure we didn't stop the last mass shooting or the one before that 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 or the one that was before that or the one before that one or the one before that but we sure as hell stop this one you libs yeah mm-hmm so I quit. So I didn't pay any attention to the story. Oh, the brave good guy with a gun saved the day. Yada yada yada. You can hear the NRA members masturbating to the news, and and Trump has still not recognized the black guy who took out the guy with the AK-15 or whatever. No, he did single-handedly. It took him like Thirteen weeks or something like that. Yeah. A ridiculous amount of time, but so so I tapped out to this to this story, even though yeah. it happened in Oklahoma, where I somehow happened to live. Uh-huh. I I tapped out. The next day, we're recording at uh, uh, episode one hundred and forty six. God's not dead to electric boogaloo. Um. The return of the tuna fish sandwich. Yes. And really great episode. Really proud of that. And Deanna minus destiny comes over and does a ridiculous. I can say this because she's not here yet. A ridiculous NyQuil induced 50 minute episode of D&D. I know. 
about tremors. Spinoff segment about tremors. And I came back from the break because I would, you know, I, I I kind of figure people are winding up then. And then I had to yeah. pretend like I was listening the whole time or something. I wasn't sure what to do. I was panicking. <laughs> But and now, it's funny because but now I'm like in this conversation and I don't really know what this conversation is. She's obsessed with tremors. <laughs> she has been since she was like eight. It's ridiculous. And while Dee is doing her thing, I sit next to her and I get on the facey books, the facey pages. And the first article is about new information that has come to light regarding the shooter. 28 year old. Alex Tilgman mm -hmm. and and whenever our podcast The Pope on Film whenever our show is ahead of society and ahead of the game, ahead of yeah. the curve I like to quote a really good song specifically I'd like to I like to quote a really bad line from a really good song. Okay. Yeah. It's a really dumb line from, from the song Some Nights. It's a pop song by the band Fun. It was really popular for a while, a couple of years ago. Okay. Some nights I stay up. Anyway. Um, this might be a good time for me to mention that, that for some reason that auto-tune auto shit really creeps yep. me the fuck out. There's something about autotune that just creeps me out. And it's weird because the lead singer of Fun, he released two albums, I think, a, under Fun. And then before that, he released two albums as the front man of the band, The Format. Yeah. And the man, and he also had a duet with, with, the, with, with Pink. Yeah. And they had a number one hit song together and the guy is just he has the nicest voice of any living human being. He has such a great voice and it's just absolutely wonderful. So I don't understand why in his in his last album he used so much fucking autotune. Like you don't need that. Yeah. Ooh. You have a fucking voice and you don't need autotune. It's ridiculous. Anyway. Um the bad line in question is here they come again to jack my style. Yes. Because Jesus Christ, the shooter, Alex Tilgman, had a crazy ass YouTube page under the name Yahweh Rules 2. Yes. And our podcast spent 30 something minutes dissecting his videos. In like January. Mm hmm. Suddenly, our podcast is in a position where we discussed a shooter months before the shooting. Yes. Just for being an insane motherfucker. Yeah. And yeah. I, and I loved because I read the article and there was like, there was like, the article had said, the one I found had said something like, there were no signs of mental illness. And I was like, yeah, yeah. you ain't talking to the right fucking people. Yeah. It's ridiculous that they said the shooter had no history of mental illness, but then it's like, how, how is my fucking movie podcast? How, how does my movie podcast know more about the shooter than the fucking police? Well, as it turns out, um, in January, Alex Tilgman started traveling mm -hmm. across uh, Oklahoma City and, and just the Oklahoma area, posting these flyers that said, um, demons in clone transsexual bodies, and then his, his YouTube account yeah. name. He started plastering them all over Oklahoma City. And so a gay paper the gaily.com um wrote an article about it wrote an article about these flyers and they managed to track it and then and then the next day they managed to track down the guy who was posting the flyers and they did an interview with him yeah and then after that the gaily went to the police and gave the police all of the information 
on this guy. And the yeah. police said, yeah, this is someone we're going to have to keep our eye on. We're, we're going to have to keep an eye on this on this fella. Thank you for all of your information. And so when they got that information and they put it into their system, the guy's name is Alex Tilgman, T-I-L-G-H-M-A-N. Yeah. And that's a difficult name to spell. So when they put it in their fucking system, the goddamn Oklahoma City police put 28-year-old Alex Tillman. This okay. came to light a couple of days ago. They 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 misspelled his name when they put the info in the system. So was it not our guy? No, it's the same guy. Okay. The problem is, is that when they first did their report about Yahweh oh. Rules 2, they misspelled his fucking name. So then when Alex Tilgman does a shooting they the oklahoma city police said oh let's let's search our database to see if we have anything about alex tilgman nope there's no alex tilgman here because they misspelled his fucking name oh yeah so so the oklahoma city police like really dropped the ball so Basically. have they then done any the 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 news have they done any kind of a tra- retraction, something like um, earlier reports were wrong. This guy was totally batshit. Um, not that I've seen, but the Gailey is really focusing on the fact that that the police are still like, yes, uh, there was seemingly no motive. The man had no, the man had no history of mental illness, and the Gailey's like, we gave you all of the information. This man was insane. Mm-hmm. So the Gailey is really trying to focus on the fact that the Oklahoma City police really dropped the ball. Um, I personally have some theories as to why um, the shooting may have taken place. Besides the fact that the man was crazy and thought that there were demons everywhere yeah. and that they looked just like regular humans and that and that and that there were clones everywhere and that you couldn't tell who was real and who was fake and which women were really men and which men were really women. The guy Uh was just absolutely insane. His YouTube page was filled with these crazy ass videos. And, and most of the videos, most of the videos were just, he would walk through Walmart with a GoPro. Yeah. And he would just walk around for an hour and he would cut that into Walmart clones part 17. Yes. Yeah. Or, like or the black cars. Thing. Yeah. I remember the black was, cars. Oh, there's another black car. They're, they're really interested in me today. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The birds are being loud in the park. They're obviously controlled by demons. Yeah. Yes, the bird. Yes, 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 yes. I remember the and, bird. And he minutes. recorded his entire lonely Chinese restaurant dinner. Yeah. But he would occasionally talk about how he was convinced that everyone was a demon and that they were all out to get him. And the satanic television. It, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And all of these videos are like super creepy in my mind now because, uh, like, goddamn, he could have shot any one of those places. If anything, it seems as if. All of those videos were him like preparing. Yeah. You know? Could have been. But but we've talked about this guy a couple of times on the podcast, and I did mention uh, a few weeks ago that hey, milk his milk. YouTube page was taken Go down. Table, get your milk. Uh, yeah, I, I remember. Couple, yeah. I mentioned that a couple of weeks ago, and something tells me that that might have been one of the reasons why his he 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 went on the shooting because his youtube page was taken down shortly before he he went on a he went on the shooting spree and was killed and that that just might have been like a trigger like here he is devoting his life to trying to expose the demons and clone transsexual bodies yeah and then youtube takes down your account that's definitely a trigger you know yeah if you already think that everyone is out to get you and then YouTube takes down your 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 entire page and your 300 videos. That's going to be the one thing that makes you like snap. Also, another reason why he may have snapped is he might be one of these incels. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? 
Yeah. Oh my it, god. It, I I cannot I cannot be I cannot imagine a a man who can't get laid making it known to everybody that he can't get laid. Yeah. I this this whining about it. This, oh, then guess why you can't get laid, you little whiny butt. This boggles my mind in in the 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 CK Lewis thing. Yeah. You know? It it Eleanor boggles my mind on that. Life yeah. It boggles my mind on that same exact level. Just like yeah. what the fuck? Well, you can't you can't get No, if you can't get laid, you keep your mouth shut. But here's the thing. Um, so, but here's the thing. Um, apparently, there's a website out there yeah. called cruisemates.com. Cruisemates. Ooh, that cruisemates. sounds. Cruisemates.com. Yeah. Okay. No, it's going to get weirder and furries are going to be involved, but just, just follow <laughs> me on that. <laughs> Sir, sir, before you had my interest, now you have <laughs> my attention. <laughs> so, so cruisemates.com is like a bulletin board website where you can post like a, like a, like a, like a, what is it? A, a personal ad. Yeah. If you're looking for someone to go on a cruise with you. Okay. Split the gas, something like that. Oh, okay. An actual ship, not gonna... like cruising across the country or something like that? No, an actual cruise. Like, if you're going to okay. go on a cruise by yourself, but then you don't want to go on a cruise by yourself, if you're like a single person going on a cruise by yourself, you go on cruisemates.com to see if anybody wants to go on the cruise with you. So. Um, someone posted a really weird personal ad in the beginning of January on cruisemates.com. And it, and it literally said, handsome 28 year old man. Okay. Looking for sexy woman to go on a cruise with. Must be real woman. Must be. Yeah, must 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 be must be a real woman. Must be sexy, and and gorgeous. Uh, here's my home phone number. Give me a call. My name is Alex, and so uh, that became kind of popular on the internet, and so a number of other bulletin board type, like four chan type sites were yeah. were uh, posting screenshots of this one personal ad from cruisemates.com and making fun of it. And so another website posted it and that was Kiwi Farms. Okay. A, bullet, a bulletin board specifically for furries and furry enthusiasts. Okay. And they had a fun ass time with with this one personal ad and calling the phone number of the guy. Yeah. And they would like prank call him and make fun of him. And then one of the people on Kiwi Farms doxed the guy. Okay. They doxed Alex Tilgman on Kiwi Farms. Here, hey, you remember this personal ad? Okay, his name is Alex Tilgman. He's 28 years old. This is his address. This is his phone number. This these are the I found his YouTube page. This is his YouTube account. Here are some of his videos. He's convinced that there are clones in demon transsexual bodies. Like they doxed him even before the Gailey article came out. Really nice. Okay. Yeah, all of his all of his How, how did they compare to us? Um, or did you find out about him from they, Bailey? They went a lot farther because apparently they discovered they discovered the fact that um Alex Tilgman has a younger brother. Okay. Who all who looks just like him and also has a YouTube account which has also recently been pulled. So um, 
Yeah. Well, uh, okay, okay, they, but wait a second. Wait a second. When somebody is this cracker box palace, can we trust he actually had a younger brother, especially one that looked just like him? <laughs> I mean, I'm just I, I'm putting that sure. out there. <laughs> yeah, they said that he has a younger brother and that, that he may have a sister, but they're not 100% sure. So those are two possible. The, there's a number of reasons why he may have gone on this shooting. Number one, his YouTube page may have gotten taken down, and that was like a trigger. Also, he was doxxed by a bunch of furries. <laughs> That's they're doxing themselves. That's, yeah, that's a good point. That's he was already hard. doxing himself, so the, the furries didn't yeah. have to work that hard. The guy was like, here's my phone number. Give me a call. Yeah, he was Coco he, for Cuckoo he was, Puffs. He was like... Long before the furries came along. At, at oh, yeah. years length away from just being like, I'm at this exact location at this exact time. Come and join me and let's kill some trans people. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, um... You can, you Destiny. You can have one of the lunchables if you want. I got There's an extra one. one. I know. I got an extra one. Are you one. sure? Yeah, yeah. I I got I got six with you in mind. Really? Yeah. That's so sweet. So if you want that, you, you can have that. Oh, so, so that's okay. most. That's most of the story here. I don't. I don't rightfully know if the Oklahoma City Police Department was aware of the shooter prior to the shooting, like they say. But I'm just saying that yeah. if the Oklahoma City Police Department were fans of the Pope on Film podcast, then they would have been made aware of this guy and the danger he passed. So let that yes. be a lesson to all law enforcement agents. You know, listening to my listening to this podcast might save a life. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And if Simple you meet a woman from Octoris who can grow trees, yeah, you might want to leave the area. Just a, yeah. just a heads up there. Now, I'm, I'm going to move on to another topic while at the same time staying in the exact same topic. Uh-huh. So, so this will be somewhat topic adjacent. So, so this will be fun. A crazed man in Oklahoma City shot up a restaurant. Oh, if only someone would have known that this was going to happen. Oh, wait, someone did know, and that someone was me. Mm -hmm. I tried to say that like one specific skit from Mr. Show with Bob and David. It's time uh, to shake the crime stick. <laughs> now, who wants ice cream? So, so let's talk for a moment about how amazingly psychic I am. Okay. How because amazingly psychic are you? Well, um, so we're recording the podcast last week. We're we're nearing the end of the podcast, and I learned about the shooting, and so I immediately go back and find the episode where we talked about the shooter's YouTube page. Yes, and about twenty one minutes into that bit of homework, which is which is called Crazy Oklahoma two thousand eighteen, and I called it Crazy Oklahoma two thousand eighteen because I knew that the shooter would have would have gotten a notification saying that his videos were placed on a YouTube playlist. Yeah. So I wanted to call it crazy Oklahoman, but I didn't want this guy to come and get me. And he was <laughs> following me on YouTube. So that's pretty exciting. I, I had a shooter, a dead sh shooter follow me on YouTube. Well, I, mean, he was alive yeah. at the time. I don't mean to true crime brag, <laughs> but the shooter. Yeah. He was following me on YouTube. So, 21 minutes into that bit of homework, I say, and I quote, I need to find out his first, middle, and last name because this guy is definitely going to start shooting somewhere. Yeah. So then I, I, so then I started advertising this, this bit of homework on Facebook and on Twitter and, and every, all, all the social media that I could. And what I specifically put on Twitter – I put it everywhere, but what I specifically put on Twitter was there are professional psychics out there 
with less proof that than I have. I would agree. There, there's, there's like um, there are professional psychics in New Jersey named Madam Jackie who do psychic readings or whatever. And they make massive amounts of money being fake psychic. And those people have less proof of their psychic ability than I do, because I have a bunch of proof. Yeah. Well, there's John Edwards, too. You know? Yeah. They've, they've yeah. been those a lot of them. Do not have, yeah. Those people do not have the proof that I do. Eleanor, throw this away. Throw that away. Okay. So, so I put that on Twitter that that there are professional psychics out there who have less proof of their psychic ability than I do. So, so I I was suddenly followed by about fifteen different people on Twitter, and they're all psychics. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Suddenly, I'm huge with psychics and mediums. <laughs> it's really funny because suddenly all these people are following me, and it's just. Uh, Love readings by Renee. <laughs> and it's like, oh, now I'm big with psychics. I'm big with librarians, people who work at a bookstore, people who hate capitalism and psychics right now. And minorities. Yeah. And minorities. Those are the things. Those, These are a few and of, of my course, favorite I'm big things. in Japan. You're big in Japan, yes. We yeah. are big in Japan. Yeah. So I've got a lot of proof. Number one, I was in a robbery. I was robbed at gunpoint. I had a gun pointed to my head. It gave me PTSD. No one is ever allowed to sneak up on me. I yes. will freak the fuck out. But right before I clocked in, we were robbed at the at the closing of the store. We were robbed at the end of the day. And right before I clocked in, about a minute before I clocked in, I quickly got on Facebook and I posted, I'm really nervous and anxious, like something really bad is going to happen tonight. Yeah. And then I posted that. I went to work. I was robbed. And at like 3 a.m., I, I, I write about the robbery and then knock out in the bed. And I wake up at like 1 in the afternoon and I check my phone and there's all these people – like like a shit ton of comments about the post about the robbery and then one person who posted in the thing that I wrote before the robbery and that person just said ooh freaky yeah and I'm like oh yeah I knew that was going to happen mhm mm so that's proof number 2 about a week and a half before I was fired from my job at the uh, major bookstore chain whose name I keep some it's somehow forgetting. Yeah. Um, I'm throwing out trash, and and I said to myself, "Okay, Steve, let's go over the. Is, is it pension that I'm getting? Pension? No. Severance. Uh, severance. severance. Yeah. So so I go outside to throw out the trash, and I'm like, huh? Like my mind is going, hey, me, what should we think about? Well, just to be on the safe side, let's go over the severance package. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh. -uh. If I recall correctly, the severage package goes as follows. You get one full you get one full week of pay for every year that you work there. Okay, Steve. Let's go over the, the amount of time we've worked for this company. Well, wow, 17 years. So that would be 17 weeks. So how long, if I was fired today, how long would I have a paycheck? Let's go over these numbers for whatever reason, Steve. Boom. That's proof. Proof number three. About four days before I was fired, I rigged my name tag to start playing Let It Go. <laughs> so now there's a button on my name tag, and you press it, and it lights up and starts singing, Let It Go, Let It Go. And so when I got home after being fired, I got my name tag in my hands and I'm going to throw it away because I'm so disgusted. And then I realized, oh, wait, you know what I should do? And I pressed the button. Let it go. Let it go. Now I've hung the name tag in our hallway, in the hallway of the house. And yeah. whenever I'm, I look at it and I'm sad, I just press the button. And my name tag tells me to let it go. Okay. That was like uh, I, I, days I, before I was fired. The positioning of this name tag, I really need to know how close it is in proximity to T. Sip and Hitler. 
Um, I am not sure. You're not sure. Pass. Then there's the shooting, which I predicted. Yes. So what I'm saying is, is that, uh, you know, for so long I've joked about my psychic powers. Well, it's official. I'm a psychic son of a bitch. Yes. I Mind that, powers up the ass. I find this hilarious because Steve used to get creeped the fuck out when I would do the same thing. Be psychic? We were driving to San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, we were driving to San Francisco one time, and just out of nowhere, I was just like, Nakara needs me. And he was like, what? You had a psychic connection with your BFF, Nakara. But it's happened with more than just her, though. Yeah. And and it's every time. You're like, that's fucking weird. You need to stop. Yeah, it's happened with um, more than just Nakara. For some reason, right now, you can tell when Cheech is hungry. Cheech. Like, we're at Walmart, and suddenly, oh, my God, Cheech needs to eat. I want to punch you in your face. I thought that was hilarious. Who's, who's, I only know of one Cheech, and it's probably not yeah, him. Yeah, that Cheech. That Apparently Cheech. Apparently that Cheech, I, I that guess. That Cheech. I don't know. She has a psychic connection with Cheech Marin. Okay. No, I don't. Steve's just fucking with you. No, my, my best friend at the time, Nakara, she... I don't know. I was just like, she needs me. Nakara needs me. And then not even, what, two minutes later, Nakara called me, crying, upset. Yeah, she needed me. Yeah, you was, guys had this weird psychic connection, and it was creepy. Steve, and I hated it. Was, Steve was like, that is so fucking creepy. Stop doing that. I'm like, I can't help it. I don't know what you want from me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Stop me. being psychic, Natasha. Nope, not going to happen. And now he's the psychic one, and uh, he's, Maybe. he's just really happy about it. Okay. It doesn't freak him out at all okay. when it's happening to him. Let's spitball here. What if happened? Well, did it freak you? you out when it, it happened with you? you? Yeah. What if having sex with Natasha gives you psychic powers? <gasps> Natasha. I have to call some people. Yeah. <laughs> I have to call some people. Like, hey. How, how many people, Natasha? Like, Natasha's going to call me. <laughs> yeah. Weird. I don't have their phone numbers. I don't, uh, I don't keep in contact with them. Okay. Is okay. this like you we'll just got to... Leave them, man. You just got to call a couple of people, or do, do you got to... Do you have to get in touch with the fleet? There's... I mean, there's... There's a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Just trans. Just be near that. Okay. There's a lot of people I could call. Okay. And in fact, let's, I could just let's use do my this the ability to tell them to call me. Yeah, let's just that's do this the, the easy way. Go into the bedroom, count the notches on your bedpost, come back and let me know. I don't have a bedpost. Oh, I do man. it quick and dirty. No <laughs> bedpost, no bed frame, just a mattress on the floor. Come on, bunny. Now. <laughs> don't you sleep on a mattress on the floor? I. I use my psychic powers for one important thing. Yes. No, no, for the promotion of this podcast. It's the only that's the only thing I use my psychic ability for for the podcast. Yes. This is true. Maxwell saying that he uses his psychic ability for what do you what do you use your psychic ability for? He's trying to think of something. Oh, yeah. He uses his psychic ability to play outside all day. Ah, okay. And then Eleanor says uh, psychic juju boo. So, so Eleanor's got that going for her, which is good. That That is So good. let's... Yeah. So let's, let's move on now 